Hello YouTube and welcome to my bedroom, which like me is uh, bright and messy and kind of scary and also doesn't have a door. You, you may note I don't have a door. Um, so yeah, I am going to go to this post stand, which is a very nice post stand and is free. And I'm going to stand on it because we're going to talk about various things involving my face. I know you're excited. Now, the first thing I wanted to talk about was Omega appliers on a mesh head, or at least on a Bento mesh head. Some of this is all so new to me, and so it's all like, oh, I thought it was, and then it wasn't, and then I looked dumb, like right then when I was talking, and then I didn't really uh, say anything. The point is, the whole mesh head thing is new to me. I had a system head for a really, really long time. And while I'm familiar with Omega flat appliers, they do work differently on mesh heads, just because of like how the layering works and so on. And so at first, once I'd got Omega installed on my head, which was very easy to do, uh, I had some issue. Um, just as an aside, installing Omega is as easy as just wearing this HUD and clicking it and it inserts the scripts into your pretty pretty head. So yay for you. Now the issue I was running into when I first started trying to use Omega makeup on my Lelut Kamesh head was that when I clicked the button, it caused my lipstick to come off. Like, for instance, as you can see on this beautiful Izzy's Glitter Eyeshadow, if I click here, my whole, my whole head turns a beautiful shade of grey. Then the, eye the eyeliner and glitter shows up, but my lips are bare. And that was perplexing, because there also exists the Omega Rooting HUD, and, you know, if I, if I clicked that I wanted say eyelids and then clicked then again it would just do the whole face and that made zero sense to me and so I did a whole lot of freaking out and you know submitting support tickets and all this and eventually I asked on Pluck and Izzy herself explained the issue is that the way uh, Omega appliers are set up is that they're actually made out of three buttons. As you can see on this Alaska Metro one, which is the extreme wing I make up. They are actually made up of three buttons, each thing you see. The eye zone, or you know, the default zone that the creator of the thing has set it to. So if for instance I just click eye zone, then Oh, that was unexpected. Right, as we were. If we just click eye zone, then that will just apply to the eyeshadow. As you can see here on the little card, if I disable the eyeshadow layer, then it goes away. Goodbye. And if I bring it back, then there it is. And that's where it's supposed to go. Now, if I clicked all zones, this lowest button, then... In theory, there you go. Look, it puts it on everything. Everything goes away. To demonstrate this, if I take away the eyeshadow layer, look, it's still there. If I take away the lipstick layer, it's still there. If I take away the brow layer, that does nothing. If I take away the tattoo layer, you, that's the thing. Is It's applied it to everything that could be in that general area. And that is what was happening to me when I was clicking just randomly in the middle of these appliers is that it was applying to everything because I was clicking in the middle or bottom portion of this image. Um, whereas actually what you want to always do if the Omega reply is not set up in these th with saying these three separate buttons you always want to click the top you click just the very tippy top of the picture then 
it should yes it works of course it's not layering right because i'm wearing everything but actually that looks really good i kind of like that a lot um as for this hard control in the middle that is what works with this um so if for instance i said that i wanted it to root only to eyebrows um then clicked in the middle then it does nothing because I haven't really figured this out yet I still don't have this 100% but in theory um, HUD control means that it will only apply to the parts th that you have checked down here on the Omega system routing HUD which comes free with the Omega installer for the Lelutka head it's worth noting though that both um, Alaska Metropolitan and Izzy's do offer um, Lelutka appliers that I can use, so I don't really have to bother, but just occasionally it's a thing to know, because some people don't. Some people only do like Katwa and Omega or something, and then it's useful to know that clicking the right place is actually really, really important. Now, the next thing is, um, I want to talk about animations on the bento heads uh so they're really nice you know you can be all like ah and <laughs> um and and grr i like the grr it's well it's kind of less of a grr i'm more of like mm -hmm. uh, eh, kind of expression i can yell and look you know distressingly like taylor swift um there is the always beloved and highly useful eye roll and the haba haba and the ew and all kinds of winks that make me look dumb. Anyway, so these are ones that come with the little head and they're really nice. Uh, but some of them don't really suit me very much. I am not fond for me. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just, it's not mine. I'm not fond of the smile animations. I just, I don't dig them. They don't feel like how I would smile. Um, and so I was really delighted to discover that you are not limited to facial expressions uh, that are just, that come with your bento head. Um, you can use pretty much anywhere's facial expression with, you know, varying levels of success. One place I've tried the mouth, obviously their mouth has much less mobility than this one. And so when you smile, it's like, Aah! and that's, uh, it's a little horrifying. So, you know, your mileage may vary depending on what head you got. So I am absolutely in love with the smiles that I got on the marketplace from Emeka. Now these are just poses. That's the thing about bento is, you know, they don't, it doesn't need to be built in with the head or anything. It's just poses. Um, poses that use your face. So it's got just these nice, gentle little smiles. See, I'm all like, I like you and I'm all like I like you with teeth and I'm all like but now I'm sad and you see they're just nice subtle little expressions and so on uh, one thing to and so really you know if I think if you had the cat head you could probably use the expressions from that you can use expressions from third parties it's a really useful thing to know that you are not limited to with a bento head the facial expressions that come with your head. One thing to note though is sometimes uh, the expressions can cause your bento skeleton to go a bit wonky. Now I wanted to talk about this more because I'd had it happen where my face just went completely weird and horsey and I didn't know what to do. Um, but I can't actually get that to happen anymore so I guess that's a win for the world but you know a loss for me uh, but what I can get it to do is see this one here this open mouth smile hey look I'm so happy to see you if I stop doing this open mouth smile 
you can see that my mouth hangs open in this kind of derpy way. Oh, well, again, I'm really happy. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you, it can be fixed by relogging. Um, but what you can also do is if you right click yourself, I use the pie menu because I'm a dinosaur, but this process is the same if you use like the regular drop down menu. Um, you go to appearance, reset, and then reset scale and animation. Well, scale and anim. It could mean anything. It could mean animals, it could mean animaniacs. It but I, I'm assuming it means animation. Scale and anim. Then, ta-da! Look, my face is all back to normal, and it's great. So, um, if a facial expression ever causes your face to go wonky like that, that is just the process of fixing it without having to go through the process of relogging. Thing the third that I'm going to talk at you about is. Uh, a Firestorm feature, so if you're not using Firestorm, then sorry. I'm sorry for you in so many ways. Um, but this probably will not work for you, but it is such a handy feature if you are using Firestorm. I had to use it yesterday because there was a um, an update to this head. So, you know, I had to, up to do that in all my um, outfits. Because what I'm going to show you is a handy way to update everything in your outfits folder. Um, like with basically three clicks. Um, so the first thing is I've made an outfit. It is called There is a Prim on my nose and you can't stop me. And you're going to see why now. It's basically very similar to my current outfit except... I am wearing this beautiful mint green prim on my nose. And there is really very little you could do to stop me. Oh, also, I am not wearing a body alpha, so you can see how pale I am under my mesh. Ahem, I am super pro, and so that is now fixed. I have no underbody. Um, anyway, so, uh, I am wearing a prim on my nose to illustrate this, which is... If I suddenly decided that I hate mint prims, mint prims are like so yesterday, mint prims are the worst thing on earth and I want them to die and what's so much better is an orange prim, uh, well what I could technically do is just change the color of the prim I guess but what I'm trying to tell you to do is um, if you have the thing that you want to replace the item in your inventory, in your, in your, the link, the, 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 the. okay, let's try again. If you have the item that you want to change the linked thing in your outfits folder to, then what you can simply do is select in the outfit folder, um, the thing, and you can right click and say replace links and then it'll come up with this dialog box the source is prim1 that's what my minty prim is called prim1 it sucks i hate it i want it to go away and so the target is the thing that i want to replace it with so all i have to do is select the thing and just drag it in to here and then, when I click Start, it will replace all instances of Prim1 in my Outfits folder. So now, when I put on There is a Prim on my nose and you can't stop me, then, please current outfit, do it, do it, do it. <gasps> Look at that, it's so modern, it's so fresh, it's so beautiful, it's an orange Prim on my nose. And that, if I had that, if I had Prim 1 in multiple folders, in multiple outfit folders, then that would have replaced every single instance of Prim 1. So, when your mesh body or mesh head, or if you get a new set of eyes or whatever, or a new skin, and you don't want to have to break up your outfits, you don't have to have, have to go through and go, oh, okay, what's my new skin's name? I'm gonna have to put it in there, blah, blah. 
All you have to do if you're using Firestorm is right click the offending thing, replace links, and then drag the new thing into the box and start. And presto, hey presto, <gasps> mint green prims are back in again. It's a miracle, a fashion miracle. But it's a really useful thing to know uh, for if you're updating your look and using Firestorm. So, yeah, you for knowing it now. And finally, we are at the portion of the video where I talk about what I'm wearing. Um, so, I'm wearing this coat. Well, this maxi cardigan by Sally. Um, it comes in various colors and it also comes with a HUD to change the color of the t-shirt underneath, which is included. Um, my skirt here that I'm wearing is by Blueberry. It is the belted skirt and as is Deriga with Blueberry. Also comes in a million colors and you can hide and show the belt and all these things. Um, my tights which are not listed in my outfit credits over here because they're obviously an applier are by Vici. They are from the goth tights pack and my shoes are uh, by Vicarious Youth, and I took off my shoe base, so oops, I messed them up. But they are very pretty, and they are available in a million sizes, um, from Toddly Do Baby to um, Slink, Slink Flat, which I'm wearing now. You can get them in a gacha at the playroom. These are the Goth Rares and I really like them and I am not ashamed to wear kids shoes especially not when they're so nice as these uh what else my hair is by Doe it is Layla uh my makeup which I was wearing earlier at the start of the video my lipstick was by Izzy's uh you also saw the glitter eyeshadow by Izzy's and that's also what I'm wearing right now and I showed you the Alaska Metropolitan Extreme Wing uh, eyeshadow as well on the Omega Replies. Um, and finally, I know that this is going to be, you know, a hot ticket item. The mint nose prim was actually made by me. I know. I know you didn't know I was so talented, but I am the mint nose prim and in fact also the orange nose prim are both my own handiwork so you know contact me and Wild Nivaya Barbosa if you feel like you need one and we'll see if we can work something out. So that is the end of my awkward ramble about three things that I wanted to ramble at you about regarding my face. Uh, if you like the video and you do not already, please like and subscribe and all those things people on YouTube do. And I will be back with another video when it is Luxbox unboxing time, which is in a few days. And here is my face, here is my face, here is my face, here is my face, here is too much of my face. You are so lucky, goodbye.